Hello everyone. Welcome to the Chaos Evolution Working Group meeting, June twenty third. Since Sean is not here and I was uh, not, uh, I was not prepared that I have to continue it. So let's maybe I'm just copied last meeting's notes and we can look into that and continue with that. Individual and organization. Let's see what is in that. So I guess on that one, we we do have the PR now and the okay. issue for the individual and organization contribution credits. Okay. Um, so that has been progressing. I'm not sure what happens so, with that next, but um, so I don't have know. you have you created a PR for that? Yes. So um, either Sean or. Uh, maybe Kevin is on the call. They can review and uh, approve it and merge it. Too. Yep, I, I took a look at it uh, last week. I think I made some minor edits. Uh, I was actually I was going to wait for Sean to take a peek at it uh, before merging it, uh, but he went on vacation, so uh, I could. Uh, I'm comfortable merging it now. Uh, so maybe I will just do that. Or maybe we can wait for uh, Sean. I don't know, whatever. Because in the last meeting, we agreed it's final and this just need to go in for the review. I think we can just merge it. Yeah. Because then it's on under you know community review. So if Sean has changes or suggestions mm -hmm. or whatever, he can. Uh, yeah. Yeah, any, any changes can happen during the review process. So uh, yeah, I'll just merge it. Uh, and then I'll, I will move it towards the community release as well. So yeah. So is it is anyone going to email about it for a review? Like since it is in the continuous release, maybe. Uh, you know, we generally don't have a process in place that says you have to announce when you've put something into the review process. Okay. Uh, so we, we create an issue. Uh, uh, I usually mention it uh, during the uh, during the community meeting on Tuesdays. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's or, what I was going to say. We can bring it up then if we want. Yeah, but I don't think we need to. I don't think we need to do like a an email. Like, okay. Although we have in the past. Okay. Thanks for doing that, Matthew. Awesome. Yes, our one metric is done. I bet. That was fun. <laughs> okay. Then we have uh, the potentially related metric. Uh, I don't know. Chaos elephant. This is the release one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Diversity of Okay, related to this one. Okay. Including data ethics considering heading. I don't know about this. Uh, the second point in that is including addition of data ethics consideration heading. I have no idea on that. I don't recall. Does anyone recall what was that? Uh, yes. Uh, can you share the can you share screen? The, uh, actually, share the the notes document with me. I, I don't have that. Sure. There you go. Okay. Uh, where were you at? Where are we at on this? Are, uh, we looking at, are we looking at pull requests? By the way? I'm sorry, I was late to the meeting. So uh, I'm still kind so, of caught up. We are in the first item, individual and organization contributor credit metric, and the last point, workout definition on 6921, including addition of data ethics consideration. Okay. Was that for the for this metric that we have to include data consideration in the metric or something else? I thought else? we added that. Oh yeah, that is there. So I think we have we are good in that. 
Yes. In, in general, I know that there are a couple metrics that we're, we were talking about adding a data ethics uh, kind of disclaimer to. Uh, that is, and that is something we've done in the past, uh, specifically when uh, when a metric could be abused. Yeah. Now I have a Do we want to bring this up in the community call? Because there's also another um, uh, suggestion regarding the template and updating the templates around um, thinking about DEI, how a metric can affect DEI in uh, in practice. So, um, so we have a couple of of revisions. So let's let's bring that up at the community meeting. What do you all think? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds so good. Have I've, fun. I've got a list of proposed additions to the template I've been keeping track of. Let me, I'm going to add that to it. And I'm adding it to the agenda right now. So we won't forget. The best, uh, the best way to move that forward might actually be to just do a pull request to the template to add a uh, data ethics section. Uh, that my guess is that would be a third level heading called data ethics and we probably add the optional tag to it. Um, so not all I don't I don't know if all metrics need to have that data ethics disclaimer. Uh, I think it, they should have because uh, anything can be used in either ways. That is what my little observation is, working around different metrics. But at the very least, a, a third level header. That, yeah. Uh... Okay. Okay, and the next item is for SPG. Code change commit and contributing organization need a pull request. Uh, this was for the Sean or somebody else? Yeah, that's for Sean. Yeah. Uh, uh, since he's not here, maybe we defer it to the next meeting or uh, any update. Yeah, I mean that's his action item, so I would I would defer it. I, I don't think we yeah. can do anything with it. Okay. Okay, and then the next item is reaction filter. I did reaction to the change request and issues. Was that one discussed last week or the during the last meeting? Yes, in, these notes are from the last meeting because uh, I was not sure. So I just copied last meeting notes and I'm just reviewing them. So. Did I miss last week or the last meeting? I may have missed it. I'm not, uh, I don't see my name on there. Yep. Uh, I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure what this, what this one is, the reaction filter was, uh, does, does anyone else know more... it? It was more on the adding emotions or something or something along those lines. Emojis as a signal of attention or reaction. Oh, oh, reactions are okay. Uh, yeah, dabbish signals of attention. God, I. I feel like I was part of this conversation, even though I was not. Yeah. <laughs> it's been ongoing maybe for a while. <laughs> I do. I, I mentioned Dabish a lot. So. so 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 the question is like, are we planning to make it a metric as a like emoji uh, emojis as a metric or part of a filter? I'm not sure. Filter and number of including burstiness will also develop a new metric called reactions. So maybe this is a good time to look at as a reaction as a new metric. No, that no, it's a, a, a filter. So we're just adding it as a filter to the other metrics. So, so, so adding it to change requests, adding it to change requests accepted, 
change requests declined, issues active, and issues new. So in the meeting notes, it is written that we'll apply this as a filter on a number of metrics, including Bersinier. We will, and the second point is we'll also develop a new metric called reactions. So then the question will be, is it worth making it a new metric or just keeping it as a filter? I seem to remember the discussion about this with the like plus one versus making a comment versus yes trying to we had some discussion about like trying to interpret if we want to have you know a plus one be the same as a thumbs down or whatever you know all like yeah. all of the i don't remember the the result of the conversation but i do remember having that conversation in some of the like it seemed like it opened up kind of a can of worms in terms of some other related things and yeah i think we would we would have considerable trouble uh characterizing what different emojis mean uh across projects uh i think there's going to be a lot of context that's required and uh and also kind of uh the way some projects use them may be different. So it may be a, a cultural issue as well, project culture issue. Uh, I, I don't know that we could do much more than count them. <laughs> uh, maybe like, uh, can we measure the emojis? Yeah, so as a as an aggregator, looks like, yes, yeah, we're just, uh, the only one we're talking about in that pull request that's mentioned is thumbs ups. So we're not even, we're not even talking about plus ones, uh, uh, which I guess the, the thumbs up emoji technically is the plus one. But that's, yeah, this is only the thumbs up that uh, is being discussed in this pull request. But there are more than those thumbs up. So is there any way if any of us can think or have you seen you being used as a measurement or as a gauging tool of uh, emojis? I think this this particular, in my opinion, this is something I would defer. I think this I think this issue is kind of complex. I would uh, okay. I would defer it to a later date when our understanding of it is better. Uh, if I if we were to try to create a metric out of this, I think I don't know how useful it would be, uh, and I feel like we would just be pushing it through just to push it through. It makes sense to have it as a as a uh, a filter in some of the metrics, the the plus one just to mention it. Okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, I would be I would be really tentative to try to push anything more on this forward, just because the, they're and th this this would be super complex. Okay. Figuring out the different emojis, what each emoji means, uh, and then applying the context across different project cultures. Uh, and then what is, and then what, what would our metric describe? Would it describe uh, the process of counting it or are we attributing some sort of meaning to these emojis as well? Okay. Either way, I would defer it to later. So okay. push it, push it to next week. Okay. <laughs> so meeting. I have, I have noted we'll defer it to the next meeting when we have more clarity on emojis. 
and I would and I would defer it even later than that. But uh. <laughs> okay. So the next item is which was section item for the Sean is change request commit metric drop. I don't know whether he has created it. There's a link to it. Action item for the Sean too. So, so there's some work done in this. Maybe we can look at this one and finalize it. There are a couple of changes into it. Yep. So this one is uh, related to a few of the other metrics that uh, uh, so this is this is looking at activity within pull requests right so in mm -hmm. our in the our previous work we were we we had we had made the the name change to change request and then we were looking specifically at change request uh, I think comments change request reviews so maybe and then, and then the third thing the third main part of a pull request so it's a the comments the reviews and then the third thing is change request commits so why not we give it a name as a activity within change request are we just looking at the commits or any other things to look we are just looking at the commits we're being this is we're being very specific about uh, uh, about what we were doing here. Okay. So, uh, I'm trying to remember back on the the conversation that led to this. Yeah. Uh, Where's that at? All these changes. Okay. Yeah, it's part of the code development activity. Yes, yeah, so this is about, yeah, this is specifically about breaking down the parts of a pull request uh, into, into measurable components, right? So we can, we can measure, we can look at the number of files in a pull request. We can look at the number of commits. We can look at the number of comments. We can look at uh, the number of lines of code. We can look at the number of reviews in a pull request. So this is very specifically commits. So maybe we go through this and tweak it or finalize it or work on it or Do we want to work on this one? Yes, that's what I was saying. Are you recording? I can pause. I think we usually, yeah. For, yeah. Just a single one. It's a that's small good. update regarding okay. the Mars project. So I guess I'll just update you. Uh, so for the automated metrics release process, we require uh, some of uh, some of the things that we want to extract from the markdown files of the metrics, uh, like the metric name, the metrics question, the focus area goal. So uh, the extraction of these files, uh, the extraction of these require the metrics and the focus area readme's to be 
standardized in a specific way. And so in the coming weeks, you should be expecting some PRs regarding standardization of the readme and the metrics. So this was just a heads up. We already have a template for the readme files. You can all take a look at it. Share the link. Uh, this makes sense. Are you going to do it for all the uh, all the readmes in the working group? Oh. Okay. These will mainly be for the focus areas readme because okay. from there we plan to extract the whole of the focus area. Okay. So just an update. We'll see. Uh, by the next meeting, we'll have some PR ready. Okay. Great. Good work. Yeah, it looks awesome. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's this one last item in the meeting. I, I'm not sure what was that. Goal uh, and priorities. Yes. This seems more for the auger related thing. So I don't know. I see Kevin, your table in this one. You're muted, Kevin. Sorry. I'm sorry, what's the question? So the last item in the agenda was priorities for work and release, and I see uh your so he'll paper table in this. I don't know what was this like. Is Charles trying to release the metrics in the auger or? Is, is there a link that we're looking at? What are we looking at? Yeah, yeah, I have pasted the link in the chat. I think this is Sean's mapping of uh, release met metrics to be included in the auger. I guess this is what my hint is. I'm not sure. Um, no, the, I think this is the. These are the metrics that we'd like to uh, that we'd like to release in. Uh, uh, in this uh, so upcoming. This, yeah, yeah. So these are the these are the new notice the the change yeah. request commits that we were just working on. Okay, okay. So, and then when we uh, when we started, so this this was about uh, this was about breaking down like the work and activity that exists oh. within a pull request, oh, and okay. trying to figure out what are those what are those measurable things that we can look at within a pull request. Okay. Right. So, so we can look okay. at we can look at the number of comments. We can look at the number of files. We can look at the reviews, reviewers, review comments. All of those things are individually measurable within a change request. So within the one we just uh, are you are you frozen or am I frozen? Uh, can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm saying is change request commits, we have included the number of files too, not only the lines, but files too. So do we need this number for them? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's still something that's uh that's measurable outside of it. The the number of the number of files and the number of lines of code are something that can help describe a commit. Okay. However, a commit is still 
it's its own entity, right? Okay. Yeah, so these are like wish, uh, wish list for the release and work, work to be done. Yeah, yeah, this is okay. the, yeah, the, the wish list or the, the things that we should that we should be working on. Uh, and I think the I think the idea here is to just is to focus on change requests and kind of do a deep dive on change requests. Got it. So. Yeah. And I'm assuming he put the table in as kind of a, I'm not sure why he put that table in, maybe as an inspiration to. Uh... <laughs> so. I think that's all we have in the agenda. So, and we are at the end of the time two minutes early, so maybe we call it a day or any other thing we have. Uh, did we look at, uh, did we look at pull requests or issues in the, in the repository? No. Is there anything in there that needs attention? Let me open that. Okay, we have seven issues and two pull requests. So one is metric. Uh, one is contribution metric candidate release read me uh, according to chaos standard. I don't think anything important behind that metric was uh, one. Since we are at the end of our, so I would like defer it to the next meeting. Not, I don't see anything like serious that needs urgent attention or anything. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah, that's it for the day. Thank you, everyone. See you guys later. See you. Bye. Bye. Bye.